Welcome guys to the leak down test in BMW uh, E46 with M54 engine and first of all reason for that video is just to show you of course but another reason is that I saw one and the guy misdiagnosed his engine by doing this test wrong so first I will power steering what? <laughs> on the feet <laughs> sorry <laughs> I have to be talking yeah actually I heard something so where is it? <laughs> is it on the road? Okay. Is it fixed? No. No? How no. much? He, this is what he said. He's gonna he's gonna part exchange it. What the car? Yeah. You can't part part exchange this car. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Welcome boys and girls today a uh, leak down test in uh, BMW with M54 engine straight 6 and first of all I want to do a video because I just wanted to show you and another reason for that video is that I saw one with the same engine and the guy uh, misdiagnosed his engine and because he just did it wrong so I'll explain you what he did wrong so next time please think use your brain and first of all what's the what's the leak down test it's something more advanced than the compression test where compression test will show show you just the compression in the in the cylinder where leak down test will tell you amount of leakage and will tell you where is the leakage if it's intake valve exhaust valve head gasket or piston rings so for that you need compressor and leak down tool don't don't do it with engine cold there's no point always use like warm or hot engine and okay i'll explain you first the bad way how to f stop this test and then I will explain you how to do it good so first of all you need to remove all the spark plugs then you need to gain access to the crank shaft uh, nut or screw and long bar on it to rotate and uh, get the best posi position which is top dead center of course you need to have the tool which is leak down tester is just a pressure rail with valve and two gauges this gauge will show you amount of pressure in the system here and this gauge will show you the leakage and then you need to use this uh, adapter for your spark hole this adapter have an o-ring so just finger tight shouldn't leak any air so the pressure is on in the compressor and this is what you do first pull you can lock this actually pull and release all the pressure and then apply the pressure So here we got no leak and here we got 100% leak. So I'm applying pressure and needle goes to zero. Cylind cylinder number one is in top dead center. Engine was rebuilt, piston rings w was uh, replaced due to the oil burning in M54 engine. So we got only for nearly 40 psi and needle goes actually to minus so now I will try to get 100 psi and we got no leakage at all in the cylinder number one
the lock. That's too much. Compressor, compressor is off. I got 100 psi here. I can lock the tool, and we got less than zero leakage, so that's brilliant. But there's one thing uh, the guy did wrong. See, guys, when I apply the pressure, I hope, I hope you're gonna see this bar move to the right and hit the uh, expansion tank because we got so much pressure in the cylinder the bar the piston actually pushes down compressing and pushing everything down with the bar so now we got leak because we are off the top the top that center and this is the problem I'm gonna switch it off we got big leak now because the cylinder and number one is not in the top dead center and this is where the guy did it wrong uh, you need to make sure you have top dead center all the time I will show you uh, on cylinder number two, three, four if you're not gonna get it right you're gonna have leakage on the cylinder next to it so guys uh that's the procedure to do it right otherwise you, you will be replacing your head gasket because you're gonna think you have a leakage between the cylinders I will show you the procedure you don't have to use a screwdriver to set the top cent top that center look uh, cylinder number two I'm applying pressure I got I got leak leakage already from cylinder number four or something and bar is already pushing down so I know so why I have leakage from cylinder number four if if I'm testing uh, cylinder number two why is it like that because of my head gasket no so I got spare camshaft with the carrier and I will rotate it a few times so it might give you some hints uh, about this problem have a look on cylinder number two where we've been testing it and cylinder number four where we used to have a leak so cylinder number two is uh, it's compressing or something it's sealed because the lobes are facing up they going down and have a look on cylinder number, number four number two is going down it opens and soon after the num cylinder number four opens as well so there's a big chance if you're not gonna set your top that center right you're gonna have two cylinders open this one is open uh, fully now and this one touching the lifters that's why you have I'm gonna take it off that's why when you're not setting your top that center properly you're applying pressure this valve might be open pushing back to the intake manifold and comes back here so guys uh, I will explain you how you're gonna do your leakage uh, test on your M54 if you want to do it before you're gonna hook this up to your cylinder number two you start your compressor build your pressure here up to 100 psi that will show you zero leakage because this valve is closed now but try to set your top that center and then you're gonna hook this up to your cylinder desired cylinder and by rotating by 
pushing the crank the crankshaft with the bar left or right depends where you're gonna be you're gonna feel it on your hand where will be the best position for the um, for the piston and that needle will tell you everything if the needle will drop and you're gonna feel less pressure on your hand that means you're not on the top dead center if you're gonna push it for example to the right and you're gonna see that needle going again to the desired pressure and you still have no leakage or the leakage is lower than before that means that's gonna be a leakage you can't leave just the bar and apply pressure because the pus the piston gonna go down uh, the, the crankshaft will move probably one of the valves will be opened and the air will be escaping into in the intake manifold to the cylinder for example number four or number six so um, I hope you guys uh, understand the most important part of this video which is don't leave the bar on its own assuming the top that center you set is there because as soon as you apply pressure it's gone so apply the pressure into the system then connect the adapter and then get the best position of your piston and uh, read the gauge so I hope that was useful in next video I will explain you why M54 engine they do rattle you know the rattle if you don't know it there's many videos out there uh, like a diesel sound of the engine I will explain you what's the cause of it and what's the solution hope you guys enjoy uh, see you next time please subscribe comment and take care